All right, I want to show you a little fix I figured out that hopefully will help some of you who are trying to get your MIDI into your laptop. Now, um, basically I have this Korg SP300 keyboard here. It's a really uh, decent keyboard as far as being uh, weighted keys and things. And I uh, really wanted to try using it as a MIDI controller for Logic. You can see I have my little studio here and my MacBook Pro, an external monitor, running Logic uh, X. Love this program. And I uh, just wanted to try using a weighted keyboard as a MIDI controller. And again, this doesn't have a USB out, it only has MIDI out. And so, as you can see what I did is I went on Amazon, I'll have links below so you can check out if you want this adapter. But I got uh, this specific USB in and out MIDI cable converter. So it was cheap, it's like $7.99. I thought this is a great way to get uh, this MIDI controller in there. But I had some problems. I plugged these guys in and this wasn't working. Um, after some quick troubleshooting, I found the problem. So I wanna show you uh, what that was. Okay, this is the back of the keyboard. And as you can see, there's the, the MIDI ins and outs. And uh, basically what I did is I plugged it in based off of how it was labeled. See how that says out? That one right there says in. I plugged those in to the corresponding uh, markers there. And uh, actually, what uh, what happened was I didn't get any sound output, and um, I was I was really frustrated. And so anyway, I actually just switched those, so the out is now going into the in, and the in is into the output, and created what uh, I'm guessing is uh, as a circuit, a uh, circuit loop. So again, this is maybe is exactly how it was designed. I felt the uh, the labeling was a little bit hard to understand. So once I did that though, everything was working uh, great. I'm gonna go ahead and plug this uh, USB into the, uh, the port here and I'll show you uh, basically what it sounds like. Okay, so once you have this plugged in, you can see this red light is gonna be on. The power indicator was on initially when I plugged these in, but now I've got that little signal that's showing, I actually have that input where that little orange light is going. And so uh, again, I'm just, I've got the keyboard turned on, I've got it on just a, a, a sample uh, synthesizer sound, and as you can hear, it's now working great. And I've got some good weighted keys now as my MIDI controller. So there you go. Uh, I do suggest this little guy, it works great, it's cheap. Just make sure you have it plugged into the right holes. All right, there you go. Stay tuned, I'll have more uh, Logic tutorials as well as more Mac tutorials coming soon.